If you need some help satisfying your true crime itch and sifting through all the titles online, then grab your magnifying glass and prepare to do some investigating as we look at the very best true crime movies and documentaries that Netflix has to offer. In 2007, while on vacation with her family in Portugal, three-year-old Madeleine McCann disappeared from her bed and has never been seen or heard from since. Madeleine's case has resulted in a multitude of theories and tons of speculation regarding who was responsible for her kidnapping. Was it an unknown predator? Were her parents Kate and Jerry to blame? I think that the feeling here was they lied to us, they were lying to all the world. There are conspiracy theories galore about what happened here, and the disappearance of Madeleine McCann takes on the enormous task of examining Madeleine's abduction from the moment she and her family arrived at their overseas resort to the ongoing investigation. Not only does the series offer an in-depth timeline of events, but it also discusses the police investigation, Kate and Jerry McCann's media campaign to find Madeleine, and the potential theories surrounding the abduction. Sister Kathy Sesnick was a nun and teacher at Archbishop Keo High School in Baltimore. Known for her kindness and dependability, Sesnick was loved by everyone who knew her. So when she failed to return home one night in 1969, it was obvious that something was wrong. Tragically, Sesnick's body was found in early 1970, but for years, the nun's case went unsolved. That all changed in 1992, when a former KO student came forward and claimed that Father Joseph Maskell, the school's chaplain, had sexually abused her. From there, authorities dove into Father Maskell's backstory, uncovering a history of abuse and a lead in Sesnick's tragic passing. This twisty tale is documented in The Keepers, a seven-episode series that dives into Sesnick's case and the allegations of abuse that occurred at Archbishop Keo High School. The series explores the notion that Sesnick's murder is directly connected to the claims of abuse, and the show does an excellent job untangling the various testimonies, timelines, and theories associated with the homicide. The Keepers is thoroughly engaging, but it's also deeply emotional and difficult to stomach. It's a story of homicide, abuse, and cover-ups. But most importantly, it's about a community of survivors coming together to find justice, both for Sister Kathy Sesnick and for themselves. Ted Bundy is one of the most well-known serial killers in American history, thanks to both his brutal crimes and his bizarre behavior throughout his trial. His psychopathic insanity has been captured for the whole world to see in Conversations with a Killer, the Ted Bundy tapes. It's hard for me to believe that what I did is newsworthy. Released on the 30th anniversary of Bundy's execution, the Ted Bundy tapes recounts the man's life, including his crimes, escape attempts, and eventual execution via the electric chair. But what separates the Ted Bundy tapes from every other movie and TV show about the killer's crimes is the never-before-heard audio interviews with Bundy himself. With, with every murder leaving a person of this type hungry, unfulfilled, the Ted Bundy tapes is a chilling experience because we know that Bundy is, in fact, responsible for the crimes of which he was accused. Hearing him speak as if he'd done nothing wrong is both an aggravating and horrifying experience. The next time you did it, you would be fulfilled. And the next time you did it, you would be fulfilled. Or the next time you did it, you would be fulfilled. In each interview, it's clear that Bundy's manipulative nature is at play, and he's attempting to sway listeners with every word. If you're interested in learning how a maniac charmed so many people, the Ted Bundy tapes is definitely worth a watch. In December 2015, the documentary series Making a Murderer was released on Netflix, and almost immediately, it became a massive hit. It garnered attention from big names like Ricky Gervais, Alec Baldwin, and Mandy Moore on social media. The series even inspired viewers to take action in the form of online petitions. But why did this documentary impact so many people? The series follows the story of Stephen Avery, a man who served 18 years in prison for the attempted killing of Penny Burnson. With the help of the Innocence Project, Avery was released in 2003 after DNA evidence proved that he was not responsible for the crime. However, two years after his release, Avery was convicted of killing a second woman named Teresa Halbach. So is Avery guilty of either crime, or is the man getting railroaded by the system? They just don't care what happened. You know, they don't care about the truth. The first season of the series is mostly interested in trying to prove Avery's innocence, and it makes a compelling argument regarding the handling of his case. The second season focuses more on Avery's lawyer as she attempts to prove his innocence while having to navigate every legal battle imaginable. The controversial show is wildly popular, and if you're wondering why, now is the time to find out. 
In the 1980s, a controversial Indian guru named Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh founded the religious movement Rajneeshpuram. When the community moved to a large piece of land in Wasco County, Oregon, with the intent of creating their own city, the neighboring small town of Antelope decided to fight back. Not only was there resistance from their neighbors, but Rajneesh and his followers faced constant legal battles and media backlash that threatened their entire community. It would all lead to the largest bioterrorism attack in U.S. history, an event documented in one of Netflix's very best series, Wild Wild Country. Someone is out there who poisoned an entire town. Wild Wild Country gives a voice to Rajneesh's followers, as well as the residents of Antelope. By interviewing members on each side of the conflict, we get an in-depth view of how the community came to exist, what life was like for them, and an examination of the prominent figures involved. The series paints a vivid picture of the events that transpired as the community attempted to create and hold on to their utopian commune at any cost. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.